Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I've actually spent the last hour trying to do laddering with that Sceptile team I built yesterday, and I could not hit a single Leaf Storm, so I figured I would go ahead and take a break from that. And I'm going to be recording around Scarf Excadrill right here. We have three attacks plus Rapid Spin, really nice late game cleaner. Unfortunately, it is outsped by a lot of other common Scarfers like Kartana and Blacephalon, but I think we can make it work. We have Max Speed Jolly, of course, just to maximize speed potential against Lando, because Lando Scarf doesn't actually run Max Speed Jolly, so that can help us out. We have Max Attack Drill right here, of course, too. Pairing it with Zardwai, which is a mega that I really never run, but I kind of wanted to try it out right here. You'll notice that we actually have three forms of hazard control, Drill, Coco, and Fini, just because we have Kiram and Charizard on the team, so it's really necessary. We're just running a standard Fire Blast with Roost Zard right here. Of course, Solar Beam and Focus Blast. Z Coco, which is a defog pivot for the team. Life Orb, Kieran Black, because mainly I have a Z-Move user right here, so I have to run a Life Orb set. I was actually trying to run a Choice Spec set, but that wasn't really working out, so Life Orb is definitely what I opted to run. We have a Leftover Spedef Jirachi, and then finally Defog Tapu Fini just as a Grand Pivot, so that's going to be the team. It'll be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out, and let's go ahead and get right into the games. So, Alright, I have the first game right here. My opponent gets blown away by my Kiram. One problem that I'm seeing right away, though, is potentially superior under webs. That definitely looks very scary. I think my best lead right here is just my drill, and I should just attempt to Iron Head flinch this because it is my best play. Although, I don't know if I can actually flinch it due to Shield Dust, but I'll click it anyway here. As my opponent decides to go ahead, and I can flinch it, nice. And I do. I'm going to Iron Head again. And uh, basically, these webs are gone now. So, I'm thinking they may double out into the Rabombi here. I kind of want to go Coco just to, in case they try to do that. Yeah, because I can outspeed it with this and just hit it up with a U-turn. I couldn't allow webs to go up, and I figured Coco would be a pretty safe pivot. Landorus decides to come in here. I mean, this is a free Kiram, and I kind of got to make a play here. Do I Earth Power into the Heatran? I don't think so. I think I'll just Ice Beam initially, as my opponent decides to go ahead and stay in. Rabombi is finally going to come out. I mean, they have to get up webs here, so I'll just Ice Beam this too. And uh, I don't even know what comes in now, because I have Electric Train Thunderbolt. I mean, Fusion Bolt, so... That looks very good. I do want to get Drill in to do some work, because that can actually be a thing here. I think I'll always go Jirachi on this, as my opponent decides to go for a Psychic. And uh, perhaps what I can do now is just go right for an Iron Head. As uh, they may stay in, actually decides to go Hard Hair across. Interesting decision there. I mean, my Charizard doesn't really care about anything at this point. I'll just U-turn out here, as a uh, Pin Missile does a ton of damage, but... I think maybe I can go out into Feeny here and guarantee my Defog, although he could have Bullet Seed, so... Maybe I should just go Charizard and attempt to hit my Fire Blast, is what I'm thinking. As I'm thankfully able to go ahead and connect, that's a very helpful. Let's see what comes in next, so... If I missed Fire Blast at any point, I might make it Flamethrower. Unfortunately, Excadrill didn't have a ton of potential this first game. Decides to bring this out. I'll just Fire Blast this too. It will Oko. I don't think that mattered at all. Like, I know Lele has good Spit F, but this is insanely strong. Heatran opts to come out next here. I believe my best play is to actually keep Charizard just for Serp. And uh, perhaps what I can do is just defog here, or try to rapid spin. Hmm. I think I just maybe uh, fire blast again in case they double to Serp. Another option is going hard Kiram. I'll go hard Kiram here as fire blast comes out. Not the biggest deal, a little bit, a little bit annoying, but it's okay. I think my next best play right here is to go. It's going for fire blast, huh? It could be specs under the sun. I think I always go drill here and. Perhaps what I should do is just Scarf Earthquake this. Maybe have Drill get a kill. Wow, he's actually faster than me due to webs. How did he outspeed me right there? Webs are up, my speed stat's faster. Okay, well I'll go Charizard here and attempt to hit my Focus Blast. I guess he's Scarf too, that would be the thing. So he's Scarf under webs, really interesting tech. I'm able to hit there. And... Um, yeah, Scarf Heatran definitely caught me off guard. I, I don't think I can lose, though. I'll just Fire Blast here, as my opponent is going to go for a Substitute. I think I'll just go Coco on that. Perhaps uh, what I should do right here is just go right for a... I'm thinking a U-turn. Or maybe just a Z. No, I want to get the slow U-turn out here, is the main thing. So I'll go for the U-turn, bring in my Charizard, and uh, just try to hit some Fire Blasts here. Okay, hit that one. Hmm, this could be bad. Yeah, because of that. So now I gotta kinda switch out here and see what I can do. I should live anything, and maybe uh, maybe Solar Beam would break the sub? I think I'll just Fire Blast again. 
Okay, thankfully he learned for Elite Sheet, but I have two Fire Blasts left, which is really bad. Okay, what am I doing here? I think I roost up this turn as Elite Sheet decides to come out. I think I always go Jirachi on the Glare and attempt to U-turn out. Or maybe Healing Wish back my Coco. Hmm. Would, would Solar Beam break the sub here? Because if it does, that's my best play. Use Sub Seed against this. What's this thing called? Superior? So I have the Superior in. I have to calc my Charizard. Would uh, Mega Charizard Y break the sub with Solar Beam? So Solar Beam would break the sub, so I should be clicking that as Glare comes out. I'll just go for Solar Beam again. I know he's going to sub for no reason. Yeah, he's trying to sub on my, on my uh, Para. So this is actually what I should have been doing before. I don't know why I wasn't. Yeah, now he has to try to go off my para here. And he doesn't get it. So that got really scary at the end. I'm not going to lie. Especially when my drill went down to the Scarf Heat trend. That was really bad. But we were able to win and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so unfortunately in that last game right there, drill just died to the specs or I guess Scarf Heat trend. So that was a little bit unfortunate. I think maybe what I want to do right here is try to anti the Lando. With perhaps my Charizard, is what I'm thinking. Charizard isn't very good right here, and he actually leads Coco, so it's probably dual screens then. I don't know if it would actually be dual screens on this team. He looks like he has some sort of setup going on. Probably, is it Mega Sceptile? I'm not quite sure what to think here. I think I'll just go Jirachi to be safe, as he does have an electric type move, so I'm glad I didn't stay in. So this invites in Lando, or perhaps Gera, but I'm not really too worried about either of those. I mean, Kiram will take a hit from either. What I do want to figure out is whether he's Scarf Zone or Scarf Lando. That would be very interesting. So Zone comes out, and uh, I think perhaps trading rocks could be worth it. He can't actually get up rocks with this, so he knocks me out with a very strong attack there. I force a kill now with my... Would this be Scarf? Jirachi outsped it, so it's definitely not Scarf. Meaning uh, Charizard comes out here. I doubt he's sturdy, so I'm going to assume that's not sturdy and click Fire Blast here and blow something away. Nothing's taking this hit. Gyarados will get to it KO'd and everything else dies, so I just need to hit my Fire Blast and I might be fine here. Okay, he decides to stay in and I do hit, nice. The moment I miss that, it's going to Flamethrower, but we'll see how long it takes. Is this really Scarf? This could be Scarf, huh? But, like, what do I bring in? I guess I should keep Charizard, but at the same time, is, is he really Scarf on this? No, he's not, so I just blow him away there. Oh, he's AV, never mind. He's very AV. That did 56 under Sun. Okay, but th the AV is a good info, and I think Kiram can just win on its own, so... This might not be the worst thing ever. I think uh, perhaps here my play should be going to Drill, and uh, maybe just clicking Iron Head. I don't think he'll switch out. He actually does bother to switch out. It is, uh, is this actually Defog? Curious now, whether it, whether it is or not. I think maybe Feeny here is a good play, because Kiram's health is a really important late game. So yeah, it is Defog, actually. Really uh, interesting tech. So maybe this game will come down to Akiram's speed tie. Who knows? Uh, maybe... Uh, I think I just Moonblast here. As my opponent decides to stay in and just Earthquake. That's totally cool. I'll just Moonblast again here. I'm not too worried about it. I guess uh, Akira might come out after. He could go Coco here, too, but... I don't actually see him preserving the uh, defensive Lando. He actually disconnected, so let's see whether he comes back. I'm not going to do a quick cut just because... I kind of do want to formulate a game plan for the end game here. So Drill cannot really win in any scenario just because he has these two and Sceptile. The one scenario where it could win is if he gives me Gyarados and then I try to Iron Head flinch things down. But I don't know how reliable of a scenario that would be. Now, if I knock this out here and he goes out into Sceptile and it's SD, I might lose on the spot. That's the thing. Yeah, if it's like Mega SD, that could be really bad. Although, I, if he SDs up, that would probably be better for me. So he does go Coco here. Really uh, interesting play. He showed Volt Switch at the beginning, meaning I don't actually think he has U-Turn, so I am going to go Drill here. Really good Gyarados double by my opponent. This is where I kind of have to decide, do I go Kyurem now? I think I do go Kyurem here. And just try to... I think I live a Z. I think I always live a Z here, so I'm going to go for Fusion Bolt. And I really hope I can go ahead and take the Z, because if I do, then Excadrill can actually be a win con. He's not even uh, the other set. So this should Oko under the terrain, I think. Yeah, okay, nice. Life Orb under Train is able to go ahead and get rid of that. Kirim Speed Tie, as I said, may decide this game, but right now Iron Head just looks like super spammable. Especially since I have so much damage on this drill here, so. Yeah, I think maybe I should keep Kirim and just go drill now. 
as my opponent decides to go for Giga Voltavic. Free Iron Head right here, as I will be able to 2 it KO with this. And uh, I'm not really worried about this Pokemon at all. It's mainly the Sceptile that I'm more worried about here. Hmm. If I switch out on Sceptile and I don't get any damage on it, uh, not quite sure why he went back to this. I guess just to sack the other thing. I think maybe I should actually go Coco here on a Taunt, and uh, I'm thinking maybe just U-Turn out. As my opponent goes for a Volt Switch, probably back to the Kyurem. Yeah, as Kyurem comes out, so I think my play is always to go Drill here and just click Iron Head. And uh, I'll be able to outspeed this. We saw it was AV at the beginning, so that's very helpful. Sceptile is the last thing. It is a, an unburdened set indeed. So a little bit tough right here whether or not I can beat this Pokemon. It may just end up sweeping me. I'm not sure yet. So Leaf Blade would knock this out. What do you SD here? That's the thing. I think I'm going to Iron Head. As he does try to go for the SD. So I got that play right. Can I win this game? I think I just get swept by Sceptile here, unfortunately. Because he EQs every time, right? And then... Nothing takes the hit. He actually has a Drain Punch. Uh, yeah, I definitely lose then. Unless maybe uh, he doesn't have coverage for this. And I get like a Moonblast crit or something. I don't know. He definitely has Leaf Blade. Like, why wouldn't he? And... It looks like I'm, I'll unfortunately be taking an L. Yeah, I knew Sceptile was the last threat. I really thought that Drill could do it late game. Let's see whether he actually has this coverage or not. I think maybe I should have actually switched out Drill in case he had, didn't actually have the coverage. But the combination of Kyurem plus Coco should take care of the last two. I just don't think I can deal with this because... He has Leaf Blade, okay. Even if he has Dragon Claw, he doesn't need to click it. Eh, could Kyurem come in here? I guess I'll go Kyurem. Like, Dragon Claw is weakened by the terrain, but I think I still go down. I'll Ice Beam here in case it doesn't. Yeah, he has Drain Punch, so that's going to be that game right there. Unfortunately, I take an L to the Sceptile. I'll drop a GG and forfeit that game, so kind of tough. I really thought Drill could do it late game, but I'll be right back with another one. All right, I have the next game right here. My opponent really hates Kyurem plus Coco, and even Drill right here could do a lot of work. Even Charizard just looks so amazing, but I think they always lead off with perhaps the Coco. And they'll know I'm Scarfed, though, due to the Mold Breaker activating before Electric Terrain, so maybe that's not my best lead. I think I'll do it anyway. As uh, Gliscor actually leads here, so really fine lead by my opponent. I'm assuming they're prioritizing their hazards. I could get in Kyurem here, is what I'm thinking, and just throw off a free Ice Beam turn one. Uh, actually goes right for Earthquake, really surprised about that. I think maybe Hidden Power Fire is in my best interest here. Because uh, I think, if anything, he'll go out into... Maybe I should just Ice Beam, I don't know. Because if Ferrothorn comes out, I should be able to knock it out with Ice Beam into Hidden Power Fire. It's just a question of whether they would go Volcanion here. Which I feel like they might, but I'll go Ice Beam anyway. I actually do f over half with my Life Orb Ice Beam. I don't know if that's a roll or anything, but I'm going to go for Hidden Power Fire next. As a Volcanion comes in, kind of an obvious switch, so kind of lame, but I think I want to keep Kyurem around and just go Feeny here. A double is so obvious by my opponent, yeah, but I couldn't really risk it. Feeny can take one of these, and I don't really need Feeny here, especially since Ferrothorn is at half now, so I'll just go for Moonblast, as I actually am faster than him, so... He should click Fusion Bolt here, and uh, that does a lot of damage. I'm going to Nature's Madness here. Actually, I think maybe doubling to Hazard on this thing would not be a bad play. An alternate play is just clicking Moonblast again, as he decides to stay in, and I get the roll. Nice. So, that was a little bit tougher for me, because had I gone Hazard, I could have tried to catch the Ferrothorn, but I wasn't sure if that was actually something my opponent would do. Decides to bring in this next. Now, I have two great checks to this. I think it's in my best interest to go out into at least one of them. So if Drill comes in, how important is Drill? It's a really good late game. Coco is a little bit less important, so I'll bring that out here on a Frustration. So my opponent does weaken me for Quick Attack, which is a little bit good for them. I'll just roost up here on Pharaoh. And I don't really have to care about anything, I just go Zard, I think. Uh, I guess the Volcanion could be annoying. I'll go for a U-turn here. And uh, I think Zard is free, perhaps. Do I have any other better play here? I mean, I don't really want to go Kiram on an attack. Yeah, he did try to Gyro Ball, and I did 74%. That's Banded Ferrothorn. I'm like 99% sure that's Banded Ferrothorn, but... Uh, I think it's, like, pretty free for me to just Fire Blast. Uh, he does go Volcanion. He's making a lot of, like, safe reads right here, which is kind of catching me off guard. But I still did weaken this thing, which is nice. I should go Feeny here on a Fire Blast miss. Really big miss, because I got a free Nature's Madness now. Uh, I'm assuming Ferrothorn might come in, but I'll Nature's Madness anyway. Yeah, because this guy just doesn't switch out. I don't get it, but... I did show it to be faster right there, so that's good info. Hmm. I see a late game with my Coco. Just because I do have Pharaoh Weekend. Gliscor is the other thing that I would need gone. 
I'll bring in Kiram here. So what would he bring in on this if he's really intent on switching out? You know, this guy's never switched out before. I doubt he's going to start now. I'm just going to fusion bolt. Yeah, he's not switching out ever. I don't get it, but... Gliscor opts to come in next. Is this like a Scarf Gliscor? I don't, I'm pretty sure I live one. He just gives me the Gliscor, so... He prioritized rocks, clearly. Pinsir cannot beat me because I have a full health uh, Coco here. So I, I should just stay in now. As uh, Earthquake was actually able to do the job. Kind of surprised. Alright, well, I'll, I'll bring in Coco now. And uh, I'm thinking my best play is just to... Maybe just go for a Thunderbolt. As a Ferrothorn is going to be my opponent's sack here. Which is uh, perfectly fine, of course. I'm able to go ahead and 2-it KO that. Next up should be the uh, this thing coming in, right? So, this is not really a threat. I think I just sack off my Zard to the Hazards. On a D-Gleam. Interesting D-Gleam right there. Hmm. How do I prevent myself from losing? I think I go Drill and Rock Slide as my safest play. Because it prevents SDs from that. Yeah, Drill and Rock Slide here is my best play. Because all I need is this thing out of range, so... I'll just rock slide here as my opponent decides to go out into the pincer, and I'm able to go ahead and knock that out. And I think Drill is going to yeah, clear this up, so we're able to go ahead and pick up another win right there. Very cool. We gained a lot of points off of that one, which is very good. The last opponent was actually a lot higher than me, so I didn't lose too many points off of that, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's literally Excadrill food, which is very cool. I'll lead off with Excadrill here, because he should lead off with Deontay, since Zard kills literally everything else on the team. Which is why I'm thinking he'll lead Deontay to pressure that. I can try to anti-lead him with Drill. If he's expecting my Drill lead, a potential good lead on his part could be Hippo, which could force me to pivot out into something like Kiram. And that could be a little bit tougher. Kiram is also very important here, so it does lead Hippo catching my Pokemon, unfortunately. So I can't stand right here. Drill is so amazing in this game. I'm not risking Charizard on a Toxic or anything. I think I just go Feeny here. He just goes right for Earthquake, so... I mean, a little bit bad for me because Feeny could help out here, but I'll, I'll just go for Nature's Madness. If he stays in, then this thing is going to get 2 it KO'd by Drill late game, which would be uh, very good for me. Now, I actually do want data on Aurorus. I uh, actually just came out. What does this thing do? I'm pretty sure it gets freeze dry. Aurorus. 77 attack. Uh, decent amount of that. I'm going to taunt you to prevent rocks. Uh, so my opponent just opts to attack me. Okay, so good play. It is rock ice. So it is actually weak to earthquake, which is kind of cool. I don't know what he was expecting to come out right there, but... I'm pretty sure it gives Ancient Power or something like that. I'll go Jirachi here. I mean, it's Spidef. I'll take anything. And I'm thinking maybe it just rocks up. Either that or Iron Head. I think Iron Head's fine. As a Drill comes out on a hard switch. So this is where the match starts to get a little bit scary. I gotta somehow play around this properly. Uh, I think rocks are too good here. So I'm gonna do that on the SD. And I just gotta sack Mons until Sand turns end. And that's, I think, gonna be my game plan here. So I'm going to go uh, Charizard on an Earthquake. No, I can't do that. Okay, I, I actually got it right, but that was actually a bad play. I shouldn't have done that right there. Okay, free Fire Blast though, so that's cool. Uh, my opponent actually still outsped me. Am I modest? I got the sun up. Hmm. Okay, let's go Kiram. What am I missing? 3 or 2. Uh, does the sand stay? I think the sand stays. I don't actually know these mechanics. I don't know the the weather all too well. I'm missing out my mechanics a lot today, actually. I'll go right for a life orb earth power. I should outspeed here. As Aurorus decides to get sacked. That's kind of bad. I kind of needed that Pokemon. I was under the impression that I would outspeed him. But I guess the, the sand retains for that turn. Maybe the Oh, I see. Did I not Mega Evolve? No, I did. Okay. The Sunlight turned harsh. Okay, I see what happened. Yeah, the Sand retains. That's what I got wrong. Okay, so kind of a blunder on my part. He's probably going for Earth Power here, is what I would guess. I'll go Jirachi anyway. Moonblast is my opponent's play of choice. That's fine. Hippo should come out here, so I'll just go for U-Turn. And uh, my play is always to U-Turn again. Hippo should come out. Like, if you stay in, good read, but I don't think it's the play you should make here. Hmm. If they stay in, that's actually really bad. So what's my better, what's my better play here? I think maybe just Iron Head could be good. But then if he goes Hippo, then he gets a free... I mean, I could try to flinch it down in theory, but... I don't know, that would put me in a pretty tough spot for this game. I'm gonna Iron Head it. He actually goes Zone, so that's actually, like, okay with me completely. 
because this can't do any damage to me, and I'm just going to U-turn out with a slow, ideally slow U-turn here. I guess if he's not Scarf, then it would be fast. Yeah, it is a fast U-turn. I mean, I can get in Drill. A uh, really good hidden power, but, like, I don't need help on Drill at all, so. I guess maybe his Hippo would come out here and take two of these, I'm not sure. Feeny comes out and gets blown away by two of these. Scarf Feeny would not outspeed me. Okay, I'm going to go off the fact that I'm going to get a similar roll here, is what I'm thinking. Because, uh, maybe I should just switch out, I don't know. I'm going to calc this roll. So I did 50. What kind of spread would that be? Excadrill against Feeny. 43 to 51 against max HP. So yeah, I'm not risking that. I'm going to go Coco here on a Hydra Pump. I think that was the better decision. And I don't know. I don't want him defogging, but at the same time, Hippo is so good for him. I think I, I, think I Thunderbolt as my opponent opts to go for that. Thunderbolt anyway. Now I'm going to go for U-turn this time. Okay, I catch the zone coming in, which is kind of cool. Allows me to bring back my drill and uh, just click Earthquake here. And uh, maybe he'll sack Feeny this time. Hard Hippo. I got a crit there, which is why I did so much. And by so much, I mean I still did zero damage. So I'm going to go out here into my Feeny. Uh, this is hard. I think I just lose to the, the drill under sand. Let's cure him takes one. All right, Unleash's Madness here. I don't think you... Uh, you should go Magnazone, if anything. I uh, don't actually know why he stayed in. He's stalling out his own sand turns, which is kind of why it's confusing. Okay, gets up his rocks there. I'll just taunt here to prevent a slack off. And I'm going to go for the drill when late game. Which I don't think it's possible, unfortunately, with his being around. Actually, maybe it could be. I, I might be mistaken, because if he he's going to be forced to send it out eventually. Which could be good. Here, we saw that this was not Scarf. Do I defog? I think defogging is in my best interest here. As a flash cannon comes out. I just get to go drill now and click Earthquake. I don't know if I can beat his drill, though. That's the thing. Which is why maybe sacking my Zard was a terrible play and getting those mechanics wrong, but... I mean, hey, at least I know now. Like, I don't use Zard ever. Like, that's the thing. This is the first time I've used Zard in months. As I should have said in the, uh the beginning. So let's see what happens right here. If Hippo comes out, that would be a bad play because it'll get two at KO'd. Feeny comes in as I can just Earthquake twice. And uh, literally I can win with Drill if it wasn't for his Drill, so Hippo is going to come out here for sure. Would my opponent double to Drill on my Hippo? Hippo comes in. I don't think doubling to Drill is his play. Uh, maybe I, I should just go with Jirachi here on the slack off and I'm thinking maybe perhaps go for rocks a really good Deontay play on my opponent's part but I'm not too stressed out about that I think I just iron head as drill comes out so I'm getting all these plays wrong he has about five turns here that may be enough to just beat me what can I do is there anything I can do here I gotta hope Kiram takes one from 76. Oh, I just died. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not taking anything. I gotta hope I live in Iron Head, which I don't think I do. Yep, I go down. And that's gonna be that game right there. So I got my mechanics wrong with the Zard. Kind of a huge blunder on my part. I thought I knew that, but I didn't. And I'll be right back with another game. All right, I have the next game right here. We're currently at an even 2-2 two and two with the squad. I definitely think we can go ahead and try to improve that record, so... Looking at this game right here, Kiram obviously does a ton of work, as it always should, because it should have coverage for everything. Drill is also great, except he has a Lando. I gotta be really careful about Serp. I'm assuming Lando would be the lead, because it's his only rocker. And uh, people like to prioritize rocks, so I'm gonna lead off here with Kiram. I have good pivots against Lele and Keldeo, with my Jirachi and Feeny respectively, so that's very good. And I'm really expecting Lando here. Serp lead is not what I was expecting at all. If, I, if he glares right here and I got full paralyzed, I'm gonna be sad, but I'm ice beaming into Magirna. That looks to be perhaps not AV. 14 looks like a lot against AV Mag. I'm not sure. I think I go Jir Jirachi here is what I'm thinking. Yeah, Jirachi's looks fine. If he Volt switches out into Lando, I can always go ahead and defog later. He tries to catch my Excadrill with a Hidden Power Fire, which is totally cool. I'll go right here for my rocks on incoming. I thought he would go Lando, but I guess he wants to Volt out into Lando here. So if it was Sash Lando, that's actually gone now, which is really good. Landorus does come out. Uh, I need Jirachi for Lele, so I think I should switch out here. What should I bring in? It's either Charizard and force a kill early, 
That could be actually be really into good. I'm gonna go Charizard here really offensively. Because I was expecting that play and like he has no Fire Blast switch in. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna click Fire Blast here and blow away this Lando. Charizard, nice, okay, good. Landorus is out of the game, and that means Excadrill is just going to have a ton of fun with Earthquake right here. Now, I still gotta be careful about Serp and uh, mainly this too. This should not Oko me, and I don't wanna actually switch out and then come back on under Rock, so if he wants to give me this kill, that would be totally cool with me. Let's find out. Could I live a Scarf Psy Shock from a Tapu Lele? I doubt it, but we'll find out. Psychic would not kill. I feel like I might live Psy Shock. Scarf Psy Shock also does not knock me out. Alright, can we go 2-2 two two for Fire Blast here? He is not- is that AV Lele? Nope, it was not AV Lele, so that thing is gone. And, uh, I guess he expected me to get forced out. He goes out into Coco now. I shouldn't risk Drill right here, I think Coco is my better pivot. As a U-turn comes out. Yeah, he doesn't actually respond to this all too well. He could go Magirna. Keldia will not knock me out due to the sun being up. And uh, I'm not all too worried about Serp, to be honest. I think I just Z it. To make sure it can't sub up later. As my opponent misses a Leaf Storm, yeah, that's not very good, but I think this game was over anyway. Uh, earlier, so that's definitely very cool. We have a lot of people in here. Who's in here? I don't know any of these guys, but let's go ahead and... I think this game is done. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and forfeit. We're able to go ahead and pick up a clean win right there. Once again, a lot of points again because that guy was higher than me on the ladder. So that's very cool, and I'll be right back with one final game. All right, I have the next game right here. I don't think I can win this game just alone. I mean, maybe Kiram can put in some work, but this team does not break, like, semi-stall or balance. I mean, it breaks balance, but it doesn't break semi-stall or stall. So this is going to be very tough, but I'll try to figure it out, perhaps. Maybe my Charizard can do some work. He has a chance. He end up though. Uh, maybe if I can time the Z-move right, I don't know, I don't think I can win this one, but I'm gonna try my best, so. I mean, Medicham could lead. I think I just go for the Zard speed tie initially on a, a Tang lead, so I'm actually gonna make an offensive switch to Kieran Black, as Pex should be the switch in. Nice, we're able to go ahead and catch that coming in. And, uh, basically, I'm just gonna Fusion Bolt as a T-Spike goes up, so that'll be able to poison my Feeny. Maybe I should have just gone hard Feeny, but I do need Feeny for Grand, so I'm not actually all too worried about this. I'm thinking maybe I should just go right for a Fusion Bolt again here. Hard Metacham is not a play I was expecting to come out. That's actually very good for me. But it forces a kill here, and I kind of need every Pokemon on my team. Coco is really good because no immunities, so I'm going to keep that. Charizard is a really good breaker too, but at the same time he has two really good pivots, so... If I can win a tie here, that would be great. I doubt it, but we'll find out. I'm going to attempt a Solar Beam. Uh, he actually made a misplay. I think that was not a good play staying in. You have... Toxifex and Chansey in the back, and you decided to stand and risk the tie. I don't really get that at all, but... Hmm. I'll go Coco here, and... Just force a kill with, or at least momentum with U-Turn. Man, that really sucks. He actually gave me an opening, and it just... I didn't get rewarded for it, but... That's okay, I guess. We'll still try to do our thing right here. As I said, Charizard wasn't very important anyway, so... We'll see what we can do. Uh, I don't think I can win. Because I'm, like, forced to cure him here. It takes T-Spikes. I'll try here. I'll go cure him, I guess, and... I don't know, I just gotta go off like chokes, I guess. I'll click Ice Beam here and maybe hope he stays in. He should go Chansey. Yeah, Chansey comes out. Okay, I see one opening right here. It's defogging. Trying to weaken this Chansey into range of my Kyurem here and then trying to win with Kyurem. With Healing Wish, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Feeny as my opponent doubles to Medi. I, I can live an attack here, so I'm, I'm just gonna go for Moonblast. Okay, I can't win this anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll drop a GG anyway, but I knew I couldn't win this at preview. I'll go ahead and get another game because that was not a very exciting one. I'll be right back. All right, so this will be our actual final game right here. This guy gets destroyed by my Kyurem. We got more sand. Didn't I battle this guy earlier? No, that was a different sand team. So I'm thinking Lopunny would always be his lead. And uh, maybe Coco can just go ahead and deal with that. So uh, maybe not the best lead on my part, actually. He's gonna fake out. So I'll just go Jirachi here on said fake out and just get up my rocks now hippo is going to come in i'll just u-turn out here and i'm gonna make the offensive plan to zard on his just to force my kill here so i mean solar beam should be my play i'm gonna click that here he trend comes out i can knock this out with focus blast and because i'll take rocks coming in i have to focus blast and i don't hit and take a toxic so i mean it's focus blast i can't really complain about that uh, i'm just gonna focus blast again too he actually gives me this which is cool uh, I gotta make sure I stay above a certain percent percentage. I'm gonna double focus blast here. Into Torn and get a drop. Okay, so I gotta defog at some point. I'm gonna go Coco here. On a Hurricane Miss. That's pretty cool. I think I just defog here. 
on incoming Tang. Just you turn out now. And I think this is where I bring in Kiram and just start to go in with that. I gotta pressure with Kiram as early as I can. Lopani is just a giant problem. He actually goes out into Heatran. Okay, I'll, I'll bring in Kiram anyway. And if he gives me this, he doesn't have a fire resist, so I don't think he should. So I'm gonna Earth Power anyway. Like, for all I know, he will, so. Ghost Horn, I get the play wrong. Hmm. I don't think you stay in, so I'm gonna double Earth Power. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, he catches me there with this. Huh. I'm gonna Ice Beam here and do a ton of damage. Okay, cool. So Kiram's getting weakened, but it at least broke the Tang Earth down. I think I'll just sack it here. I'll just go for Ice Beam. Hard to low punny. 73%. That's really good for me. I should actually keep Kiram around too. So I'll go Feeny here. On a power up punch. I'm pretty sure I live a return from the plus one low punny. So sacks off is Hippo, which means once Sand goes down, Sand is gone. Okay, so I just gotta be smart about how I play these turns. I think I Nature's Madness here. Because I'll live that, yeah. I'm still worried about low punny. That's the thing. But I think, I think because he gave me damage on this drill, I mean this tang, I think I just win with my drill now. So maybe we can pick up a drill win for the last game. Ops to SD, not quite sure for what. Hmm. I mean, I'm just waiting for him to knock me out so I can go Zard and force my kill. There's the Iron Head. Yeah, I have to go Zard. Sun is up now, right? I'm not getting anything wrong this time. I think I'm good. Uh, so he has to, like, go off my miss, basically. I'm just gonna Solar Beam and knock it out. Yeah, I'm not risking anything here. Zard's my win con, so... Lopani's gonna come out here. Probably click Power Up Punch again. Uh, I'll just go Jirachi here. I don't need Jirachi. He actually did click Return, so that's very cool. I will just go for my Rocks. Because, yeah, he should go Torn. I think my best play is actually to Healing Wish my Kirin back, but I can do that later, so I'm actually not gonna do it now. I think my better play now is just to bring in Coco and force my kill with Z-move. So let's do that here. Tank comes out, it takes a lot. He should switch out here, but like at the same time, what comes in? Uh, Heatran decided to come in, I don't think that was a smart play. I think I just Thunderbolt again too. He's just going to go ahead and forfeit, and we're able to go ahead and pick up that win right there. So we're going to go ahead and end off the live right there. We did finish positive, thankfully. We finished 4-3 and three after starting 3-3, three and three, and we were able to go ahead and break positive at the end. So that's very cool. I did hope you all enjoyed. The team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And I'll see you all next time. Later.